united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation of Life Christian Broadcasting Television. And now, United with Christ. Praise, praise, praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach. We're hearing your program, your program, United in Christ. And one of the most important things in this program is we have opened the prayer line. Prayer line, 915-532-8518. The only Elohim, the only God, that listens to your prayer is Yeshua HaMashiach. So call us, 915-532-8518. Okay, before we go into the, the study, the preaching, uh, there's going to be an elections prayer gathering. It's going to be on October the 29th, Thursday at 7 p.m., at Church of St. Clement, 810 North Campo, El Paso, Texas, 79902. And it reads, Join us for the nonpartisan cross-denominational prayer gathering led by pastors and Christian leaders. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Psalm 3312. So pastors, you're, you're invited, people of God, you're invited for this gathering. It's uh, non-denominational. Uh, it's going to be also uh, uh, in Spanish. It's pastores hispanos. Nos pueden acompañar. The, the hispanos pastors can be there at 7 p.m. October 29th at Church of St. Clement, 810 North Campbell, El Paso, Texas, 79901. Okay. So there it is. One more thing uh the 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 offerings for the channel 38 are going to be held in this month so we can start early we can start early we can start by calling also the same number for prayer 915-532-8518 and you can call and give your donation for the station uh, with your visa, your uh, uh, your credit card that you have. So call us. Please call us. Remember that last week we saw that uh, one of the values of the Christianity of the believers, uh, one of the values is uh, to be generous. That's a Christian value because we're uh, promoting, not so much promoting, we're preaching to El Paso, to the nation, that it's time to pray biblical values. Biblical values. Remember that. And one of those values is to be generous. So you can be generous with your donation by calling 915-532-8518. And overall, if this station, if this channel has fed you the spiritual uh, food, the spiritual bread, why not be generous with this uh, uh, channel 38? Uh, it's in my heart, and, uh, you know, last week has had been a long, long time since I've seen my, my sister Grace, which uh, I thank because uh, of her we're here, and the whole group. Uh, but I, it's been a long time since I've seen her, and I saw her after the programming. And grace is still full of grace. Praise the Lord. And uh, uh, reminding you, the TV audience and the uh, ones that know the Word of God, you know, she's a, she's a widow. And the church takes care of the widow. So if she's in front of this uh, station, be generous. 915. 532-8518. Okay. So we're looking not only at the, 
both biblical values, but also we started to talk just a little bit about we, we're living in a godless nation and we're living in a fatherless nation. When I say uh, godless nation, I know that there is a church, there are believers in this nation. So nobody get me wrong on that. Why I say it's a godless nation is because if a nation has God, like the verse they wrote here, blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord, Psalm 33, 12. Okay. But if God is for real the Lord of this nation, and that's why I'm calling it a godless nation. And because it's a godless nation, it becomes a fatherless nation. Most of the children, most of the little girls, little boys, uh, they're raised without a father. But uh, there's going to be a time, and it's almost here, that some, we saw it on the Bible, of the uh, fathers of this nation are going to turn their hearts according to Malachi that we saw last week. Uh, they're going to turn their hearts to their sons. And also the sons are going to turn their, their hearts to their fathers. Uh, but it's, it's almost here. But mostly, you know, the, the world's going to keep in a perversion uh, they won't care about their families, but that's why we're here to tell you that you can repent. You can become a real father. You can become real man and a real man Christ to the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Well, in this day, we're going to see just a little bit on the values, <clears throat> but on the values of the title that we are living here and the uh, church has been absent. The church, yes, the church has been absent. Ab absent from where? From being a prophetic word to the politicians. Hear me? Of being the prophetic, prophetic word to the politicians, to the leaders. There's where the church has been the most absent. And that's why there's a godless nation. Because we have, in order to be wise, the person has to fear the Lord. And the godless nation, if there was a truly a godly nation, there wouldn't be abortions. There wouldn't be same-sex uh, uh, marriages. They wouldn't be giving uh, uh, over there in California uh, privileges to the pedophiles, laws rights to the pedophiles. Uh, they wouldn't be teaching in some states uh, about the uh, gay movement. They wouldn't have the drag queens. They wouldn't admit those things to the schools. But since it's a godless nation, that's why. And because uh, the church the church leaders have been ab absent from the politics, but in the way that I'm talking to you about the politics, it's not so much having a governor that says he's a Christian or a believer. It's not much of a saying a, the president is a believer. It's they, they have to call the sin to the leaders. Sephaniah 
prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3. We're going to be reading 7 and 8. And we pray repentance comes. We're praying that repentance comes. I said, surely thou wilt fear me. The Lord is calling out this prophet, Zephaniah, so he would prophesy to the world, to Israel, to Judah, because they were in big time sin. And he had given them, you know, a taste of the wrath of God. He gave them with a belt, like we used to have the, the paddle in schools. They took it away. They took away the, the prayer. So many things. And yet, they say it's a godly nation. Once again, for those who might get me wrong, I'm not saying there are no believers. We're here in a TV station that has a format of believers of the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But the thing is, the Lord gave him and gave him good. And he's saying this word, surely thou wilt fear me. He thought and God still thinks. Like here in El Paso and the whole nation and the whole world. Look, we were doing so good with this Chinese virus. We were doing so good. Doctors, uh, paramedics, uh, the hospital staff, they were, they, were, they were so grateful. They were so happy that the, all the virus was kind of uh, going away. But it's here again. And I'm not saying that to alarm you. Because uh, the mighty of Israel will protect us if we obey. If we obey. Sometimes we disobey and it's by his mercy that we do good. But the thing is, here is the Lord. Let's take it to the modern time. As soon as they say we're doing more or less okay, the county judge says we're doing more or less okay. The mayor says we're doing more or less okay, which we have to pray for them. And doctor says we're doing more or less okay. Then they take the barriers, they take the orders uh, from all these stores. You can go in out and out and 75%. And some restaurants I see, I... I go and pass through it, and I see inside, it's almost 100% capacity. He's given us, because the only one that's letting this thing go on is the Lord. Yes, of course. There's the scientists. There's the doctors. Uh, there's uh, all these people that are working hard for the vaccine. And he, But remember, the one if I can use the word control, the one that has everything in his hands, the one almighty eternal Elohim is just looking at the people and he says, they're going to learn. El Paso is going to learn to obey. The young rascals are going to learn to obey. Their grandfather died. He, their grandmother died. Their mother died. They're going to obey. They're going to become good citizens, if not believers, at least morals. They're going to obey. I say, surely thou will fear me. Thou wilt receive instructions. Oh, Lord. That's all we have to do. Not so much the instructions from the government. But since we don't have those kinds of prophets who go out clearly to the leaders, 
and tell them, if you don't repent, if our nation doesn't repent, our state doesn't repent, our city doesn't repent, the same words that Israel heard from the prophet Zephaniah, we're hearing it this day, this morning. And he's saying to us, so their dwelling should not be cut off. But they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Kind of Pharaoh, like it seems that he was going to let the Israelis go. But as he saw that the plagues went away, he rose in corruption. And that's the way this nation is. I know it's very important. I have studied. I have studied a little bit the prophecy. Since the Twin Towers were, those planes hit them, the Islam, Osama bin Laden, was dancing with his people over there in their lands, Afghanistan, you name it. Just for a while, the United States of America bought Bibles, but there was no use. As they bought them, that's the way they put them there on the table, maybe even the garage, the closet, under the bed. They didn't care to read the scriptures. They didn't care to read them, to repent, to walk holy life. And most of all, us leaders, leaders, leaders of El Paso, leaders of the church, you with me? Us. All the false prophets prophesizing at the end of the year 219. This year is going to be this. This year is going to be that. The year is 2020. And they would take some numbers and put them in place as they wish. And this is going to be. And this is going to be. We're in the 10th month. Where are your prophecies fulfilling, my friends? Number one thing we have to prophesize is that if this world, if our leaders... Don't repent. I don't know by when this virus is going to go away. I don't know. But as more people repent and more godly, 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 we see. We have a good nomination for the, for the Supreme Court. And they're upset because... She's a devoted Catholic. I have a lot of Catholic friends. Some are devoted. Some are not. They haven't come to the 100% truth of this Bible. But I mean, why criticize a person who has values? Why criticize a person who... You know, it's going to go straight with the Constitution. That's why we're getting close. And now it's early voting. Vote biblical value. Vote biblical value. How are you going to support the agenda, not the person, the agenda of so many Babies being killed in our nation. The ground of our nation is red by so many abortions. And if we don't watch out, some ground of our nation is going to be red. My God, my Elohim, because of another civil war. 
because of a godless nation, a fatherless nation, and we were absent too many years. We say, I say we, because I've been preaching the same things since 1989. I haven't stopped yet. But Apostle Paul, even being the, the man he was, he would say, us, we, because he was humble. And we, us, leaders, haven't been prophesizing what we have to prophesize. Where a lot of people, they just go and buy coo 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 to the corrupted leaders. They rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore, therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey, mighty Lord. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Word of God, word of Elohim, word of the prophet. And the leaders have to, to hear this. It's what, like the... Uh, the Lord told Ezekiel prophet, if they hear or they don't hear you, you keep preaching. But we got to preach the truth that there's going to be a time and space that everything is going to finish. Look, America the beautiful. This is the last time and I'm going to put it in a way that a vision that you might hold in your heart for a long time. This is the last time the Statue of Liberty is going to be standing. Standing strong with a torch of fire of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Spirit. There is a time that everything is going to end. Everything. Everything. Every monumental, what they call, not even, they don't call them even church. They call them just a building or whatever, the campus, whatever. They don't call these monumental church buildings church anymore because they don't they're not church they're just places where they gather they're tickling their ears and they don't talk like have they have to talk but I'm telling you this morning for your son's sake for your grandchildren's sake vote biblical value there's not too much sign, not even in the clock of the earth, much less in the watch tower of our Elohim, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Why not dig into the word? Our Lord is so gracious. Our Lord is so merciful. Zephaniah chapter 2 Verse 10, these shall, shall they have for their pride because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. The Lord will be terrible unto them for he will famish all the gods on the earth, not capital G, gods idolatry 
and men shall worship him, everyone from his place, even all the isles of the heathen will worship the Lord. They think they are mocking the believers. They're, they think they have mocked Israel for years, the Jewish people. the holy branches, the holy roots. There will be a day it's going to be terrible for you people that don't repent. The time is coming. We're getting close. But if you vote biblical values, you're going to stretch out the goodness, the grace, the mercy of having, if not 100% godly people in offices, you're going to have godly people taking care of our nation. And for those that think they can mock me or mock any believer, you're wrong, my friend. You're really wrong. Because the Lord Almighty of Israel shall prevail. Praise the Lord. So why not have common sense? You don't have to become a believer. You don't have to become a member of the church that I pastor by grace. Common sense. Just common sense. That's all it takes. A little bit of moral. It's not right for you, John, to be with Tom. It's not right. It's just morals. Just be a normal person. Vote biblical values. Because pretty soon, you wouldn't want to see the terrible side of the Almighty of Israel, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Well, uh, it's time to say with the grace, the mercy, and the goodness of the Lord will be here next Wednesday. And we're getting close. It's exciting day elections. Shalom, Ubraha. God bless. God bless El Paso. God bless our leaders, our nation, our city. Shalom.